Welcome to Peer Class. Today, we want to look at um, introduction to the basics of Microsoft PowerPoint. So, uh, this is my desktop environment. Uh, if you want to open Microsoft PowerPoint, PowerPoint, you just come down to the text bar. Now, if you don't have your Microsoft PowerPoint in the text bar, all you need to do is to come over to this place or you go to your start window and look for PowerPoint. There you get your PowerPoint, so you get your PowerPoint to you click on it. Or you just simply click on the tax bar where the PowerPoint is displayed. You click on your PowerPoint and it's going to um, open up. Now this is my PowerPoint environment. In the PowerPoint environment, you're going to, by this side, you, the left hand side, you're going to see the the recent document you've um, done. And these are the templates, the different templates you can use for your um, presentation. Remember that PowerPoint is used for presentation. You don't need to put a lot of uh, text in it. Make it uh, bring out the points that you need for your presentation. So there are a lot of temp templates you can use for your PowerPoint here. You can see some beautiful templates. Uh, but if you want to do your own, give your own design, you can use the blank presentation. Also, you can come here to search for more templates online. There you have to be connected to the internet. So all these are different templates. So if you want to make use of any of these templates, you simply click on the templates that you prefer. Otherwise, you just come over here and click on what blank presentation. So we're going to use the blank presentation. So you tap it, double click on it. So it comes up. So this is our PowerPoint environment. This is our document. You can see here, uh, the, the, I just go through a quick tour on the PowerPoint layout. So this is the presentation one, and this is where you have your title bar, just like Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. So if you are new to the channel, you can also look out of my videos in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. So this presentation one, this is where the title bar is. So if I save this document, if I save this document or this presentation, it's going to be the name I use in saving it is going to appear here. Now these are the quick access toolbars. That is the tools we use often. We can leave it here. Just come down to this um, drop down menu if you need, um, probably want your email to be there so that you can be using all the time or you want new document to always be there all you need to do is hit on that and it's going to come up you can see that so it does how you do it you can create more and more and more depending on what you want to be accessing quickly so also just like every other offices you can see that it has the file tab home tab you have the tabs all these are your tabs insert tab design transitions animation slideshow review view and help these are the tabs you have in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's come to home. If you notice, if you observe, you notice that once I click on any tab, it's going to bring out the ribbons. Each tab has its own what ribbons. So these are the ribbons for the home tab. You can click on the insert tab. You get the ribbons for the insert tab. You can see that. Click on design. You get the ribbons for design. Transitions, you get the ribbons. Animations. You also get the ribbons, slide show, and review. So many of them. Now again, also you observe that in each of these ribbons, you have what they call groups. So for this particular place, this group is demarcated by a straight line, a vertical line. You can see that it's demarcated by a vertical line. So this is one group called the clipboard group. This is another group called the slides group. And this is another group called the font group. This is another group called the paragraph group and so on. This is another one called the drawing group and so on. This is called the editing group. Now, if you notice in each of these groups, you can see it has a launcher. This launcher is used to launch in more effects under the clipboard group that can be displayed here because probably there is not enough space to put everything down there. So once you click on the launcher, it brings out every other thing you need that are included in the in that particular group so each tab has its own ribbons and groups slides tables group image and so on illustration add-ins links comments and so on so that is that for that you can see that we have tabs ribbons and groups so here you can easily sign into your microsoft office here you can Remove the ribbon. If you don't want the ribbon to be displayed, you can say shoot only tabs. That is only the tabs to be displayed. If you want it to come out again, you can do auto hide everything. Only you will see only your slide. 
if you want to get back the tabs and sh and commands you click on show tabs and commands everything comes up so you can easily minimize your microsoft powerpoint using that minimize using this okay you can get it back by clicking on it you can also restore make it a little bit smaller you can also maximize it and if you want to close the powerpoint you just click on this place to close now that is that for the basic layout so if you come over here you also see you can use the zoom in to um zoom in the microsoft word you can also zoom out here this is a slideshow symbol and so on and so forth so let's just zoom out a little so that we can get everything we want okay let me so that you can get it at once okay now if you look at this place this is called the slide this is called the slide this is a slide you can see the slide design just all you need to do is to come over here and click on it once you click on it you can easily type in what you want to do okay you can say welcome okay or i can say pure class let's just use this pure class now this is the title of the class pure class and here we want to talk about one just say welcome to today's class today's tutorial okay you can see that once you do that you're going to see it's going to be displaying here so this is how you can okay uh, okay now in this case again we want to look at how we can design if you look at this it's just black and white you can see that it's just not so beautiful it's not even beautiful it's not beautiful as it is now so you can do a lot of things to this to make it more beautiful so that it can attract your audience and uh give you a good presentation so if you see this is just black and white um, slide so i can come over to design and come over to design and choose any design of your choice you can see that so anyone you just go to you can see you can see that you can you can you can see the way it's been a place let's go start again this is the title pure class the first thing then this is just the subtitle so if i go through you see that the title the positioning of the title and uh uh and subtitle changes so it depends on what you want and the beautification of your slide depends on what you want you can see that if you look at this one you notice that the pure class is now down instead of up so it depends on the design you want and once you click on any design it gives it the effect immediately on your word slide so you can see different design different templates now if you look at it now we've gotten just few of these design displayed here so you click on this um, dash and down arrow to get more design just once you click on it you're gonna get more beautiful awesome designs you can see that you can see that let's see uh let's see this design you can see this design this is beautiful so you can as well get more other design you can browse for teams you can save current team and stuff like that to enable it so we're gonna work with this design you can see how it is so with this design now you can as well format it you can as well format your work you and see that pure class now maybe probably i don't want it to be at this location i can just click on this note if you click on it you're going to see dotted lines that means you can type inside this text box but if you want to carry this text box along you can just click on this once you get these four arrows you click on it and carry it to wherever position you want it to be probably want it to come up a little bit i can reduce this okay i can carry it and move it to where i want it to be you can get that then the same thing applies to this i can as well reduce this and take it to any position i want it to be okay okay let's say i want it to be here i can carry this i'm going to take it, I'll take it to the next place let's say i want it to be here just play along with it this is just a tutorial so i can also give a uh, if designs to this um 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 font so uh if i click on it it's either i highlight the font like this and get that drop uh, and icons or i click on this place once i click on it and you have a straight rectangular line i come to home once i get to home i can easily come to the font aspect and change the font style you can see that it's giving a different effect i can change the font style to suit my own choice pick algeria i can increase it i can 
increase it to my the size i want it to be i can make it bold or i can leave it the way it is so there are a lot of things i can do just like in microsoft word and microsoft excel you can change the casing to any one of your choice you can do a lot of things with it you can put the character spacing maybe i want the p to the space of p to be um, far from e i can make it um lose more spacing i can make it tight I make it very tight you can see that a little bit loose it's gonna give it very loose you can see how it is so let's just leave it with normal so i can even give it color the font color you can see that i can give it font color you can you can see that okay apart from using the font here i can launch another one to get more effects you can see more effects like the double strike through superscript okay superscript is there there's so many other effects you can see here so you can make use use it that way or if once you click on it you see how my track tab here called the format tab we click on the format tab and this format tab you can see different different um um you can see shape view shape view is giving this rectangular shape a color so i can give it the shape feel of white you can see that if i give it a shape feel of white so it depends on you so if I give it a shape feel of red, let's say I want this red or this red, I can give it a shape feel like this. So let's say I want more few colors, probably don't like the ones that are there. I want gradient color, I want texture, I can give it texture color. So it depends on you, there are a lot of things you could do with that. Okay, let's say uh, I want, I don't want to give it shape feel. Now I can give it outline color, I can give it shape effects. Now let's look at the text. I can come over here and give it text fill. Text fill, I can get more colors for the text fill. So uh, just basically that is how it's being done. I can give it text fill, probably I'll make it brighter. Uh, if you, Okay, pure class. Now I gave it few um, for everything. I can decide to give... Um, for each of the word so you see that few class can give it for each of the word look for colors you can see that so this is basically how we can do uh, some kind of play and uh, designs in powerpoint and make our work look more beautiful okay welcome to today's class you can see that so this is it for uh, that so a lot of things you can give it text effect so text effect, I can decide to give it text effect or text color. Let's, okay, I think I've done pretty, okay. Let's see, let's give it text effect. You can give it text effect. You can make it to have a reflection if you want it to have reflection. You can make it to have a 3D rotation, okay. So there are a lot of things you could do to this. You can make it to, you can just give it shadow. You can give it shadow. Okay, we're not going to notice it because the background here is black. So this is it. So again, I can add new slide. There are different ways you can add new slide to this. You can see that this slide is being uh, selected. This is the active slide. You can add new slide by coming to this slide uh, group and click on what new. If you click on this place, you get new slide. You can see that you get new slide. If you click again, you get another new slide. This is one way you can get a new slide okay you can as well right click come down here the after slide three you can come down here and right click once you right click you're going to see new slide you click on new slide you can see that you just click on new slide there are another way another way is for you to create you can delete it by hitting the delete uh, key on your keyboard or you can just right click and tap on delete slide so you can see that or you can just type in ctrl plus m ctrl plus m to get a new slide that's the shortest code for this so you can, you can see that another thing you notice that um, if you come to this slide option, there are two types you can get there. If you look at the slide options, you're going to see this arrow. If you click on this arrow, it will show you more types of slide that you can use. But if you stick with the first one, it's going to give you a specific slide. So if I click on this now, I'm going to get different slide. This slide for two contents, two content, or you want to do comparison. This slide for comparison. So you can just pick any slide of your choice three picture columns so you can just do that you can just decide to let's say you want to go three picture columns so we'll click on three picture columns you can see that that is the slide for uh three picture column probably i want that same thing for this i can just come over here uh you can you can uh, reset slide depending on how you want it so everything can be done you can change the type of slide you want 
you can use your hand to uh, add another slide here you add another slide here probably you want that same three picture slide over here so you can see that three picture slide you can come over here and talk about what we do you can just click here and type what what we do so with this you can just if you don't want this uh the dialog box you can this you can just click on it and get that and hit your delete key on your keyboard and you can come over here and carry this and put it here to show you what i uh, will probably do what we want to do so you can come over here and select uh the font style you the font style you want for your work and uh so this is basically what we do for this okay so you can come over here and um okay you can come over here and hit on design the beautiful thing about all this is that you can okay you can see that for this particular design i've already selected i can select another type of style you can see that okay probably i don't want it to be uh this way so i can select another variance of style for that particular one you can just you can even design it yourself as you want a background style as you want you can design it the way you want it you can change it in the way it just you can do a lot of things to this so you can just leave it the way it is before so with this i just say what we do from what we do i'm gonna zoom it I'm gonna give it a zoom it in increase it okay let's see if we can just increase it to 80 so with that i can just expand this and expand this so uh that's that come over here you can see uh if i look at topics we can just see topics that we treat on this we have topics okay so i'll come here i want to add pictures to this I want to add pictures to this all you need to do you can see click icon to add pictures once you do that you just click on it and you get the picture you want just if you do, click on it now you're gonna get the picture you can just simply select the picture you want and you put it here and you can resize the picture you can see that you can resize the picture that you want okay so this is how to how to basically do uh, that so uh, again if you probably want to use another type you can just okay if, if you don't want that style you can just click on it to remove it if you click on it you're going to remove it and just delete it so you can just do that it's pretty simple so this is just basically the uh the basic idea of uh powerpoint and what we can do in powerpoint so i'll just delete this and uh let's i want to use another way to show you how to insert pictures so that it will be easier for you to do so play along if you have any question you can drop it down in the comment section if there's anything you want us to discuss in microsoft powerpoint you can as well leave it down below and i will be delighted to discuss it with you now let's say that i want to write on this place that is blank all i need to do is to get a text box a different way you can get a text box either you come over here under the drawing and you see this a text box you grab it and you just come over here and put your text box so i can just use um okay i want to use bullet i just type use any bullet of my choice now this bullet you can see is not that visible i can decide to give it um color to make it uh kind of visible uh, let's just make it get a feel effect so that we can actually see what we're doing okay so the bullet uh let's see okay we can just get this expand it you can see that okay so we're gonna add the text effect okay we'll come to is a home go back to home and you get your um, bullet okay I'll use this bullet for instance then I'm going to type in uh, Microsoft Word Microsoft Word So uh, it enter. I'm going to type in Microsoft Excel. These are what we do in Pure Class Microsoft Excel. I'm gonna hit it again. We'll have a Microsoft Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is basically what we do here. 
like also of PowerPoint. And with this, we have um, three icons. So topics we treat is what? Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. So if I want to give space in between, I can just hit enter. Once you hit enter, you can do that. Okay, I'll come over to the next one. It entered. You can see that. So I will have this for, okay. I want to do something to this work now. So I'll just drag it. Now with this, I want to insert picture. Microsoft Word, to insert picture, I can easily come over to pictures. On that pictures, I can, okay, you can just come to insert with the word insert, repeat insert. You can see online pictures, you can see pictures from your um, documents, you can see screenshots, you can see photo album, you can even add shapes. So let's go to pictures. Once you go to pictures, it takes you down to pictures. You easily grab one picture that you want, okay, and just grab a picture that you want and just select that picture of your choice. Select the picture of your choice and hit on it. Once you select the picture of your choice, you can see it's very big, so you can actually reduce the picture. You can reduce the picture or, or that you're working on. Reduce the picture. You can see that. Reduce the picture and you add it here. You can see that. So that is how to add pictures to your document. That's how to add pictures to your document. You can as well use the online picture. You can use online picture you click on online pictures and once you click on online picture you need to be you need to be online for you to do that so you need the internet for you to do that and once you have your internet you can actually do that so i want to work offline offline you're going to take you back to your picture so you're going to drag uh, grab another picture so if you grab another picture you can just easily work on it but if you are connected to the internet, you can just go to the internet and browse the picture that you want to use. So with this, I'll just drag this here. You can see this rotating uh, symbol. You can use it to rotate it wherever you want it to be. You can just rotate it. I can decide to carry this picture. You can just hold it once you see these four, four arrows. Okay. Once you see the four arrows, you can just carry it and move it to anywhere of your choice. You can see that you can just you can just hold it, drag it to anywhere you want it to be. So that is basically how you can do all this. So um, you can change color of your uh, word or uh, the text. You can change, give it another text color. You can make it bold. You can make it bold. You can increase it and stuff like that. You can you can as well do that to each of them. So that you can be seeing very, very visible what you are actually doing. You can carry this, you can drag it to any point of your choice. So let's take it back. To take it back, you can just do delete and it keeps on going, taking, going back. So with this, you can just highlight on this. You can give it another color of your choice. You can make it bold. You can bring it bolder. So these are the topics we treat in this topic, uh, this class, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. So with this, we have already shown you how to insert pictures. You can as well insert shape. Click on the shape drop down uh, arrow. You pick any shape of your choice. Okay. Let's say I pick this shape now. I drag it and put it here. Once I put it here, I'm going to carry it into anywhere I want it to be. Now you can see this arrow, this yellow dotted, uh, you can use it to reshape the smile. You can see that <laughs> I was smiling. So let me make it, let me leave the smiling face. You can as well change the um, point. So with this, I can as well drag it to be smaller. Okay. You can drag it to be smaller. You can just bring it here. You can just give it any color you can see. You can give it shape outline, shape weight of outline. You can increase the weight of the outline. Can increase it and I can give it shape outline and make it to be probably uh, blue or make it green. So any one of your choice, then you can give it shape few, you can make it shape few to be white. You can see that. So this is basically how you design uh, play along with your Microsoft PowerPoint. You can give the shape effect, you can make it um you can just wash through and know the shape effect you prefer. You can give it different shape effects of your choice. You can just play along with that. You can see that. You can see the effect of the shape. So there are a lot of things you can do in this Microsoft Word. So after this now, you can 
okay let's see drag this topic here come okay i'm not just here to beautify it i'm just showing you one or two things you can do in microsoft powerpoint so here i can after that insert there are a lot of things you can do in insert you can do a lot of things equations what that uh, video you can even uh, take recording screen recording in microsoft powerpoint and if you want me to do a do a video on how to do screen recording in microsoft powerpoint you can drop the drop it down in the comment section and i'm going to do a video on that any video you want us to discuss in powerpoint you can drop it down in the uh, comment section and i'm going to do that so please like this video share it to your friends so that we need to reach more people so also you can look at uh we'll talk about design how you can choose this like design you can format the background you can get a click on format background um once you click on format background this comes up you can use picture text background so it's just you can see that you can format that exact background you can use pattern field background so you can decide to use this type of field you can see that you can decide to use this type of field any field of your choice now once you can see the field is giving you a particular color so you can change the color of the field you can make it to be blue so you can see that so there are different things you can do to this you can change you can you can use this you can use this so there are a lot of things you can do to this to beautify your work to make it look more presentable and beautiful so i can just pick this i can pick this so i just pick this and will change the color back to red i think i kind of prefer it this way or something like that because powerpoint so you can use um any of this if you are done you can say apply to all or recent background you can just say recent background because i don't want it to i don't want the background to be different but if you want it to be different you can just pick it and uh, apply so you can even use two colors scroll down you get the second color you can use a white so you can see that i can pick white pick white and red you can use this so you can see that this is basically how you can do that so we can as well look for slide size change the sizes you can talk about animations in animations you can see that the animation none of them is showing right now let's see how this looks like in the slide view this is slide view slideshow icon here you can click on this slideshow icon it brings you to slideshow and it's going to be displayed okay you can see that if you notice it started from the current page okay you can use your arrow in your keyboard the right arrow to just click on it you see it giving it use the back arrow to take it back you can see that pew class Few class welcome to today's tutorial what we do topics microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint you can just make this more beautiful so you just click the escape key on your keyboard esc on your keyboard then you take it back to your your presentation huh? okay so if i want to design this you can just click on any of the word once you click on it these icons will be highlighted you can see there's so many ways you can uh, add your animations you can do that you can just come down here to see more beautiful ways you can do that you click on that drop down arrow to get more animation style there's so many animation style you can use uh, there's so a lot of them people tend to try to text all these designs the different ways you can you can just use random bars you can see it's just so many ways see the, this is the first one so you just come over here you can pick another one of your choice you can just see floating you see that gets you to this so you pick the next slide what we do you click on it once you click on it you're going to take you to uh to pick the slider choice of your choice you want you can just take it that way or you can change the sliders uh, you can change this slide whenever you want you can change the um, animation you can if you don't like that you can come and change it you can see this you can see what we do and stuff like that there are a lot of things you can come over here click on it individual either as a text box or as a word so anyone so i'm going to take it basically as a text box so you can just click on this and get uh what you want so you see that just takes you by that and uh flying you can just add different animation of your choice uh you can see that so that you can see the beauty of this when we um start the uh, animation process so if you want to start the uh, slideshow from the beginning you hit on the first the first slide you can see this star shows that the, all these 
this slide have been given what animations but these ones were not given what animations so these three slides are given animation the other trees were not given so if you want to judge you can hit on the slideshow tab once you hit on the slideshow tab the slideshow tab tells you should you do you want to start from the beginning or do you want to start from the current slide so um do you want to present this slide online you want to customize the slide so set up slide should which or whatever you want to do so let's say i want to use this uh you can just click on from the beginning once you click on the beginning it's going to display you can see that it's blank so you need to tap on your either your space bar your enter key or your arrow sometimes i kind of prefer arrow key you tap on it once you tap on it it appears according to the way you give it slide pure class welcome to this class once you click on it again it appears what we do you can see that what we do topics it brings you up to what microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint so once you hit on the slide again sometimes people get tend to get the um animation remote the, the the control remote for animation the slide remote so if you want it you can still get it in amazon.com so a lot of places you can get it so you tap it you get all of them you can see that so going back to go just click on esc escape now on our keyboard and we'll get back to the slide so this is basically the important things the basic things you need to know about microsoft powerpoint and pretty well they're all cool so um if you're new to me please kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and share this video to your friends and give it a thumbs up so this is it about introduction to microsoft word introduction to microsoft powerpoint microsoft powerpoint thank you see you next time